क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी सिक्स एंडोमेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम इंक्लूड ऑल एक्सेप्ट ई आर गोल्जी लाइजोम और गैस वैक्योल एंडोमेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम इंक्लूड मेनी सेल ऑर्गन फंक्शन आर कोडिनेटेड यू कैन रिमेम्बर दल सिस्टम दिस इज फॉर गोल्जी ई आर लाइसोजोम एंड द लास्ट इज वैक्योल सो दीज आर दर्गन ऑफ एंडोमेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम E R Golgi lysosome, not the gas vacuole. It is the true vacuole, and the gas vacuole is found in the prokaryotes, not in the eukaryotes. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-seven. Which of the following statement is true? Nucleolus is a membranous structure. No, nucleolus is found inside the nucleus and it is membraneless structure. It is not surrounded by any membrane, so this option is ruled out. Second one, intermediate filaments are non-contractile, hollow, and made up of basic proteins. They are made up of acidic proteins, so this option is also ruled out. Fourth one, histone proteins are packaging proteins in prokaryotes. In prokaryotes, there are no histone proteins. Histone proteins are seen in the eukaryotes, so this is incorrect. Third one, in centrosome, a pair of centrioles is called diplosome. This statement is correct. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-eight. Match the column one with column two and choose the correct option. Here in the column one, you can see two points are given: gram-negative bacteria and gram-positive. And in the column two, their features are given. So you have to match that which type of bacteria has which features. Gram-negative bacteria. First of all, you should know what is gram-negative and the gram-positive bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria are those bacteria which do not take the gram stain, and the gram-positive take the gram stain. Gram-negative are seen pink in color, and the gram-positive are purple in color when seen under the microscope after gram staining. Gram-negative bacteria they have the additional wall layer called the LPS layer, lipopolysaccharide layer, and it has four rings in the basal body so these four rings are lpsm so gram negative bacteria so a matches with third option number 1 and 3 are ruled out as in options 2 and 4 a is matching with the third now what about the true pili in gram negative bacteria you can see the true pili also True pili means the pili which are helpful in the sexual recombination in bacteria. So A matches with first option number four is also ruled out. Now for the gram positive bacteria, occurrence of mesosome. Yes, in gram positive bacteria you can see the mesosome. So B matches with third, and B matches with the fourth that the absence of outer membrane means absence of the lipopolysaccharide membrane. Because lipopolysaccharide layer is present in the gram negative, not in the gram positive, so B matches with the second and fourth. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-nine. Choose the incorrect statement. All bryophytes are homosporous. Without doubt, it is correct that the all bryophytes are homosporous. Second, Floridian starch stored food in the members of pheophysis. Incorrect. In the members of Rhodophyce, the Floridian starch is stored food. Motile stage is absent in Rhodophyce. Yes, in red algae or Rhodophyce, there are no motile stages. Fourth one, chlorella is used as food supplement even by space travelers. It is also true. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number hundred. Read the given statements and choose the correct option. Statement A: The monocotyledons are characterized by parallel venation and trimerous flowers. It is true that in monocots there is parallel venation in the leaf and the flowers are trimerous means the essential and the non-essential whorls they are present either three or in multiple of three. Statement B: In angiosperms, syngamy and triple fusion together makes it double fertilization. Yes, double fertilization involves syngamy, 
which leads to the development of zygote or the formation of zygote and the triple fusion leads to the formation of PEN or the primary endosperm nucleus which later forms the endosperm. So this is true. So both statements A and B are correct. So the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm.